Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video and for this one it is Daily Thompson's Decathlon uh, This was released in 1984 and I, it's one of the first uh, ocean games that uh, Martin Galway did the soundtrack to Needless to say, yeah, he improved considerably over the years. So this was one of a vast plethora of uh, track and field and hypersports clones that came along um, yeah, between sort of 84 and 85. In fact, they carried on going for longer than that, but the real sort of influx was around this time. And of course it was also jumping on the popularity of uh, Daley Thompson after he won the uh, gold medal in the uh, decathlon in the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles. So, uh, well, this intro doesn't inspire a great deal of confidence to be honest. Uh, Firstly, there is a two-player uh, uh, game, but the second player only takes part in the running events. He doesn't do any of the field events at all. So that means that out of, out of all ten events, um, player two only actually takes part in four of them. One of which is nothing short of sheer torture. Um, and then there is the actual graphic of Daley Thompson himself. Now, okay, they've enlarged it for this title page, but this is exactly how it looks in the game. For one thing, he looks like he's put on an enormous amount of weight. For another, his head is unbelievably flat. Uh, but the, the worst aspect of it is the, uh, the animation on the arms when he's running. You don't have to look very carefully but you soon see that what they've actually done rather than actually do an animation of the arm movements they've just got it spinning round and you'll notice yeah, that as, as the arm appears at the rear it just spins round to the front and, and that's how it's do it, how it actually works so once you spot that well, at least with me, anyway. Once I spotted that, I can't unsee it. It's a bit like, you know, the huge fucking gold dick in uh, uh, Werewolves of London. And uh, it, I just think it makes it look ridiculous. Anyway, let's get a game underway. So this is one of the infamous joystick killers. The game officially did not use keyboard. You had to use a joystick. In fact, there is a way around that. Uh, it used the joystick in port 1, which means that if you then use, you know, control 2 for left and right, you could substitute the left and right uh, frantic destruction of your joystick by uh, doing that. So, here we go. I've always been pretty hopeless at the uh, the running events, but here we go. I've got it uh, just in qualifying time. Ten seconds. The other bloke did it in 8.8 .8 seconds, which makes him significantly faster than Usain Bolt. I find that hard to believe somehow. Actually, I did lose a life there, but uh, yeah, you do have lives. You start off with four lives, and if you fail an event, you uh, lose one of your lives. So I'm down to three lives, so even though I got it on the uh, qualifying time, it counted as a failure. So I have to beat 6 meters 80. I just fell short. Mind you, I jumped a long way from the fucking line, so... Right, 6 meters 80 to qualify. 11.87 for the, uh, and that was far too early as well. 11.87 is the world record. I've never got close to that. The rate I'm going, I'll be lucky if I fucking qualify. 6.18, so I'm, I'm, I think that's 
even shorter than it was before. So this is my last uh, last uh, attempt. I don't think I got the angle enough. I don't know if that's going to be enough either. Well, we'll soon find out. Oh, there we go. Made it. 7.31. Next event, I think, is Javelin. No, isn't it? Sh uh, shot put. Yeah. Now, uh, with this, you don't have to do any of the uh, frantic joystick waggling. You just let it uh, speed up on its, uh, of its own accord. And when the speed is right for you, you then launch it. 55 is a bit too sharp an angle, but I broke the world record by over a metre. So there we go. Hence the dramatic fanfare. Uh, so here we go. Second uh, attempt. I remember one time I did get it over 20 metres. Which is a bit ridiculous, I think. Uh, 54, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, just shy of the new record. So let's... Uh, Right, third and final attempt. Fifty-six. Again, a bit too sharp, but again, beat the old record. So no problems with that one. Next is the javelin. And you do need to run for this one. Thirty-four is nowhere near a good enough angle, so I only threw it thirty-one metres. Sixty-five point seven is the qualifying distance. Thirty-eight, I'll be amazed if that gets anywhere near it as well. Yeah, thirty-six. I'm also I'm not getting anywhere near enough speed in the run up. as good as I'm going to do. <laughs> they are all absolute shite. So that's another life lost. As we now go... Oh, 400 metres. This is fucking agony, this. Although it's not the worst. Right, so, uh, while we're carrying on with this, let's get the review underway then. Uh, I don't know, actually, if all of the, uh, s you know, the signs that we're walking, or running past, you know, Lee Cooper, Boots, Pepsi, Walworths, John Menzies, WH Smith, Barclays, I don't think they were all actually paid sponsors or not. Uh, but that did come along uh, later, uh, because there were two other Daily Thompson uh, games. Uh, after this came Daily Thompson's Super Test, and then after this came Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge, and that was filled with uh, uh, sponsorships. Uh, lots of gratuitous uh, use of LucasAid and uh, Adidas uh uh, trainers. It was quite shameless, actually, in the, the, the way it went about it. So there we go. Oh, fucking hell. Nowhere near the record, but well within the qualifying time. And yet it placed the fanfare for the record. I was nearly 10 seconds shy of the fucking record. And now it's 110 metre hurdles, so it's another fucking running event. Now, if you want to see how this event should be done, watch the uh, CPU player. I cheat like fuck in this event, because it's about the only way I can do it. And that is to... jump from start to finish. And you do this, and you, you make it over every single one of them. 
So him at the top, he's running it as it should be. I'm just cheating like fuck, and uh, it's gonna say it's gonna. I'm gonna lose another life because I'm. Oh no, not qualifying time. I finished on the uh, world record time, so qualifying was uh, no problem. Next event, I think, is discus. Yep. So it's done exactly the same way as uh, shot put, so I should be okay with this. And do 60, that's a uh, rather sharp, uh, yeah, angle. Fuck that one up. Let's try again. Obviously you want to get the angle as close to 45, or between 40 and 45. And I'm constantly going either too high or too low. 51, so uh, again, yeah, that's my best, 39, but the qualifier I've got to do 53.2. So these are really shite. <laughs> Right, last attempt. 43, well, that's better. That should do it, yeah. I'll smash the uh, world record. World record was 69.6 and I've just done 111.3. There we go. Now I think that, we, yeah, next event is pole vault. I can't remember if I have to run on this or not. No, right, it runs for me, which is handy. Oh, fuck it, nowhere near it. Right, let's try that again. So qualifying height is 4 metres 50. I don't know how the fuck I managed that. Now I seem to be doing okay. See again, the qualifying height is always one up from uh, where I was. <laughs> I look fucking yeah, nowhere near going over, and yet somehow it worked. record is 5.25 and I'm currently on 4.7 but apparently I have qualified which is a bit of a double-edged sword fuck that one up because that means I've now got enough lives to do all 10 events and I am not a fan of the final event to put it mildly Have I done enough to, uh, you know, actually uh, guarantee that I've got through this? It's it's starting to get all a bit samey now. still kept on my lines. Next is high jump. Now I'll show you how you're supposed to do it. Again it runs for you. So you are supposed to uh, get the initial jump then over there and then try to change the angle for the uh, return or the landing. I keep fucking it up as you see so I cheat. Uh, I overdid it that time though by jumping what seems a ludicrously uh, long way away 
but it does get me over. Uh, no, that was too far away as well. I mean, you, you can see it. I didn't miss it by much. But, uh, yeah, high jump was never one that I was particularly good at. Which means I've made it to a red 10, which is the fucking 1500 metres. This was the event that destroyed so many joysticks and killed so many uh, teenagers arm muscles and some cunt is about to start their fucking motorcycle out there so while I endure this fucking pain and misery uh, yeah we'll get the review underway then so uh, graphics they're okay but I mean the graphic on the, the uh, athletes particularly on Daily Thompson here I do think look a bit shit everything else they're, well, they're functional more than anything else. They certainly don't stand out as being particularly impressive. Um, audio, uh, it's the same with the audio. Again, it's very functional, nothing remarkable. And the uh, gameplay, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, say, a blatant cash-in I really am ready to take a fucking shotgun out there. It's a blatant cash-in of the popularity of uh, track and field. Uh, not so much hypersports, because I don't think any of these events appear in hypersports. Actually, I think pole vault does, but that's the only one. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's a bit shameless in that regard. It's, it's desperately trying to cash in on the popularity of... Uh, uh, the arcade game without actually get you know actually paying for the license to uh, convert the arcade game. Although then again, I'm sure they had to pay for you know having Daily Thompson's name uh, on this. But if all of those adverts uh, that appear as you're running are from uh, companies who sponsored it for advertising, then I suppose that certainly helped with uh, the costs of developing this. So they might have actually got away with it somewhat on the cheap. Um, but, uh, I mean, it was rather infamous for destroying joysticks and... Oh, I've just broken the world record. Lucky old me. Mind you, at least it means the event's over quicker. So, yeah, I remember when I got this, I had already played uh, Summer Games. And I was hoping that this would play like Summer Games. Oh yes, once you get through the... Uh, the tenth event, it then takes you back to the fucking start again. Well, I'm on my last life, so... If my first go is anything to go by, I won't uh, qualify here, so I'll lose my last life. Uh, again, 10 seconds, right on the qualifying time, but I don't think it'll be enough. That will uh, be my last life then. Yeah, there you go. Uh, by, by giving you four lives, it, it rather prolongs the agony somewhat. I wish they kept it as uh, it was in like the sports and in track and field where, you know, you fuck up the one event and, and that's it, over with. <laughs> But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, when I got this, um, I'd already played Summer Games, and I was rather stupidly under the impression that the running events were done the same way as the uh, the relay events in uh, in Summer Games. So of course, started up the game. Started out at 100 metres and was wondering why I wasn't getting anywhere and then I had to check the uh, instructions and when I saw it was repetitive left and right I was like, oh no. Because at this time I only had a cheap shitty quick shot too which looked alright but they were fucking abysmal uh, build quality. They would break so much, you know, as soon as you fucking looked at them. So yeah, I think I must have destroyed about three or four joysticks playing this fucking game. So I don't hold it in very high regard for, for that reason. Um, it was a first, insofar as it was the first game that I had 
and indeed the first game I'd even seen that used the uh, Nova Load uh, fast loader which meant he had loading music, a concept I was completely unaware of at the time until I got this. In fact, uh, <laughs> when it was loading and the music was playing I thought it meant that it was already uh, finished loading so I stopped the tape and uh, yeah of course it all fucked up. Anyway, uh, so that is Daily Thompson's Decathlon. What do I score it? Um, it's not diabolical, but it's not great either. So I'll give this uh, 6 out of 10. Um, I've played worse, but I have played much, much better. And I've played games that are far more forgiving than this one as well. So uh, there you go. Daily Thompson's Decathlon uh, for Commodore 64, 6 out of 10. That brings this review to an end, and we will see you at the next one.